this without being offensive in so many different ways. I don't know. This I'm is like the most problematic <laughs> video on this channel. We're filming so much today, hence why we're wearing the same outfit. We have Claudina. <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> and today we're reviewing Little Bebops. Um, yes. <laughs> Dee Dee's Discount is giving us our knockoff pull-up dolls. Pull-up dolls from yeah. a far-off galaxy. Little Bebops. <laughs> Little Bebops. They're, I can't, well, the packaging, I can't tell if these are, like, they have to be manufactured from, like, China, where you know, like sometimes there's knockoffs where like it just has random words that don't make sense because on yes. the back it just says fashion icon, fashion icon. I mean, it's called Little Bebops, but the back says Little Bebops are cool, fun, and creative. They love to play dress up and style their hair. They are always looking for the coolest new fashion trends and new friends to share new styles with. Let's be the bestest friends and let our imagination guide the way. At least you have a story. Mine just has a boom box on there. It's like a boom box, and that's it. And then these, I live for the scalp, like the I don't know. Yeah, to me, it's just cute. so for like Scalita. If Scalita was really done very, very poorly, <laughs> like, but I love the boxes or little coffins. I like the back does have it's a very story. Right? Yeah. It's very informative. It teaches you about the Day of the Dead is the most is beautiful accurate? and celebrated tradition in Mexico. But I know it is highly celebrated. I mean, if you look at the what was that movie? I can't think of the movie now by Disney. Coco. Thank you. It, I mean, <laughs> it makes me think of Coco but knockoff version of Toys of Coco, basically. But they look really, really pretty. I like that they kept the art in that traditional Day of the Dead style. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, I really live for these. Now, they are expensive at $9, in my opinion. I feel like $9 for a knockoff doll. But it was, a, these, it was in a coffin. I bought I bought four. There's actually more. And I didn't even get all of them. the paintings is so beautiful. I know. There was a lot more out there i just can't find all of them this one's kind of interesting it's supposed to be like a leopard cat thing okay it's interesting on there the fashions are very um choices now i see people reselling these very high on ebay are people actually buying them i don't know i do like that they have a sticker on the back it says the manufacture date like a television would have it says manufactured may of 2021 so they are fairly new like i said these are nine dollars and these are five dollars there are they are all bebops but i just I think it's very interesting that they have very a ballerina and a day of the dead doll Bebops doing... is just a funny name yes like why who picked this you know i'm thinking it's from a factory where they're knocking off I, you just take all four of them home in your suitcase I know, I you know won. well we can try to go to dd's today and see if we can find any i guess it's just like they're very interesting are we opening these ones i like them in the box i was gonna open just these two because okay. these i want to keep on their in little the coffin. coffins i just love their little coffins they're so cute and i like that they have inset eyes and rooted lashes and the which to me is really faces. good the faces are really nice like the way that they've painted the sugar skull elements i do think it's interesting that the body is all a matte black finish and the face is the only part that's a skeleton so it's supposed to make it like where their body doesn't exist and it's just the face like a ghost almost floating i see so they, do they all have the same yes body? they all have the black bodies like their head like it's only just a skeleton head i think is what they were trying to do so that's an interesting design i like this one has like a peacock flavor to it and i love the blue skirt i get very interesting choices i do like that they have the history on the back of of the boxes I get nine dollars is a little much. I feel like for a knockoff, but let's open up these two bebops and see how their bodies are. I want to like feel the weight on these dolls because they don't feel they feel okay. They feel like um a little heavier than a fashion used to Barbie weight. Yeah. So I guess let's uh let's go in and open these up. Look okay. at me, mom. <laughs> I'm a dancer. You'll never be a dancer. Their faces are really. What is that? I can't get over the shoe, the kitten heel on this one. It's just <laughs> so. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Like this one, in the, she's slightly hunched over a little bit. You know, she. How do I review this without being offensive in so many different ways? I don't know. Like it's just, it's a lot. I do think they have pull-up elements. Elements. I definitely feel like <laughs> it's like you can't afford pull-ups, so you go to DD Discount and you get this instead. And it's like, but I like how, the, like I was mentioning, the skeleton one looks more alive than this one. Yeah, they're, they're she just looks so sunken, sunken in, in yeah. and the eyes are sunken in. The eyeliner is very strangely droopy. The eyelashes are <laughs> droopy. I need to take close-up pictures and insert them here because it's very interesting. I don't like, I like this like bun, but it's not a bun because they didn't have the I don't know. The dresses are very cheap. I mean, for, they're $5. They're $5. So keep this in mind, it's $5. I know I'm not expect. Oh gosh, what'd you just find? No, I'm just looking at them, and they're just like the more you look at them, the worse it gets. But like, I also don't hate them. I don't either. That's another thing too. I think they're a lot of fun. I think 
you know, the fact that I'm creating the story that she's, you know, sad and like she wants to be a dancer and but her mom hates her and, and her mom is wearing her clothes <laughs> and wants to be her. She's like, be a better version of me. I don't know. It's just again, the sunken in faces are very strange. I do like that they have inset eyes, but the way that they did the eyeliner makes them look worse. Um, I love I'm the like, hair. The hair's cute. The color's really cute. I like that there's two tones in it. That's more than I can say for a lot of dolls that cost more than that. Um, I think the sweater on her is really cute. I would love to see her on a... <laughs> I just wanted to see how well she was rooted. Oh, she got no rooting. She yeah. got one trim of rooting. It's just the it. outside. Like, you know, a typical knockoff doll. Yeah. So don't take these buns down <laughs> at all. I am going to definitely change the outfit on this one. I feel like the ballerina outfit like is just Lottie so Dot. scary. That's <gasps> what they like. That's what they are. They're knockoff Lottie Doll dolls with inset eyes. With inset eyes. That's the body, yes, because they do have some articulation. They do have bendable knees. They do have arms that go up and The down. hands are like an interesting mold where they're like... They're very like... <laughs> yeah, I can't... I don't know. They're very strange looking, but I now that you're saying I definitely see a mixture of pull up with the eyes and the face a little bit, but done very poorly, and then Lottie Doll bodies with the big head. Yeah. I can see this whole... Okay. I can see it. So whatever factory this is, and it's by Happy Line Limited. <laughs> the bodies are really cute though. I feel like the body shape is really like, it almost reminds, like you said, Monster High a little bit. Yes, if you look at like the torso, it's about the proportions of a Monster High doll. A little thicker, like maybe leaning towards Ever After High. The hips, no, because the hips are too wide, but. Oh, the denim doesn't feel bad. It's like. Yeah, like it doesn't feel like denim, but it it's supposed to mimic denim, but it feels like corduroy. Yeah, <laughs> and I like the little like unicorn is so cute on the 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 sweater's cute. The this sweater would fit a Barbie. Probably. Yeah, I like that. I like the the shirt. This one, the the polyester ballerina outfit is just trash. Like it's really really cheap, but. Honestly, if you're a doll collector and you want to have a little bit of everything in your collection, including something strange, oh, here, let me get you a Barbie. Here, oh, wow. I'll put it in me. Put they in do me. have their shoulders like. Oh, they are very hunched. Let me show that while you put that on. Nine all. <laughs> she look at her shoulders. Do you see how like how her back is so curved, slouching? You know, she's got my bad posture. That's what it is. <laughs> she is like, look at that. Look at that bad posture, isn't it? Wow, you can see the definition of her backbone, like. <laughs> what did they use inspiration for this? <laughs> her face is very sunken in. Yes. Like from this angle you can really see like She's... bags under her eyes. She needs... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and again, but it's weird. I don't hate her though. I don't. I feel like, again, we're creating a storyline for her. And as we mentioned in other videos, dolls are all about play and fun. And I definitely think she's a lot of fun. <laughs> I like the hair. The hair is what sucked, sucked me in to this one. Does it? Oh, it does fit a doll really cute. Oh, I love this the This fits the barbecue. Sweater. For five dollars, the sweater is worth it. I love the layers on your doll. Is that intention? I don't know. You have to ask Jordan, <laughs> I guess. Like, I, I mean, your hair is like that. Yeah, I guess. When Alessandra would style it and do the flares, oh, it was like that. Oh, maybe, yeah. Like if this was curled. I like that sweater on her now. Okay, well, you're just going to be topless <laughs> until I find something else for you to wear. Well, they're so petite. I feel like she looks fit. like she'd fit the OMG. Like, I want to see if she'll fit that bralette. <gasps> yes. Make her look real nice. Like, <laughs> kitty oh, heels here. with high waisted denim and a gold top. Yeah, That's what this good. doll is going to need to be wearing right now. Back. But the sweater does fit a Barbie perfectly, though. So if you do want to buy these just for the outfits, I highly recommend. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, God. Okay, wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I think they'll fit OMG. The, the hips might actually be too big. No, they're smaller than this. The heels give it the look, though. The heels give it the look. <laughs> the heels are the look. Height-wise, next to a Barbie, they're more... Do you think they're brat-sized? Um, well, OMG is essentially... They're a little taller than... They're a little taller than OMG, <clears throat> like maybe half an inch taller in case anyone's wondering on height purposes. Like I said, I found these at DD's discount, but I feel like you can find them on like other discount stores depending where you are across the US. I, if I had to pick, I would definitely say buy the... Yeah, Dulce uh, Katrina, like, Katrina? like oh, Sugar Ka Skull. Katrina? Katrina, we're gonna go with that. I don't know. I don't know how these are in the same world, but they are... Yeah, these look definitely way better. Definitely get these. These are worth the $9 over the $5 on these. But I feel like if you're a doll collector and you want to have every doll in the world, get one of these because you can have a lot of fun making stories with them. <laughs> Honestly, she looks so cute now. 
Oh, I love her redressed. Yeah, they're related. They're related. I love her in the outfit. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> honestly, this redress looks really cute to me now. I like her with the gold. I think it looks really, I like how she still has a sticker on her leg that has her manufacturing date on it. The sticker has to stay. That's cute. That's really <laughs> cute. <laughs> I don't know. You know, what would you recommend these dolls? I, um, I guess, like, they seem like the type of dolls that, like, if you have gone to therapy, like, sometimes they have, like, a bin of toys for, like, the kids in the waiting room or, like, the dentist or something. Like, that's where I see these. Like, or, like, after school program toys. Like, that's, these are the toys I played with, like, at the after school program. I could, you know, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. They went to Dee Dee's and just bought out the whole shelf, and this is what they got to play with. She's had, like, her arms retouched, like, Love me, love me, <laughs> love me. She'll never mom. be as beautiful as me. <laughs> I can't. She actually does look really good with that new outfit on. Like, I something about the pink with the pink, like in the shawl and the gold, like really, like just dresses her up. <laughs> and her kitten heels, like I, I don't know. I I'm don't just know. going to the store. <laughs> but she never comes back. Mom, <laughs> she left her at dance practice. <laughs> no. No. She couldn't! Look. They really can't. Yeah, the articulation is strange on them, but... The arm articulation is fine, but the legs are, like... A little, little weird. Like, I'm scared it's gonna break. Yes, they do feel fragile. Very fragile. Just, like, their faces are very... <laughs> she needs a pole if she's gonna do that. <laughs> That's what she looks like. The... <gasps> I need to take pictures of her with my pole in the living room. Like, just her on the pole, like, this giant pole, like... That's her grandma! That's the grandma. This is the mom. This is the daughter that just oh. wants to go to Juilliard and be a ballerina. This is and the just youngest can't. grandma ever. She started young. She started young. And then, like, I uh, see, uh, these need to be on a shelf together now. Oh, no. Like, it's just, I love it. I'm living for these. Take back everything I said. Go out right now and, then and you buy can these. can adopt her. Yeah. I'll take you in. You can do anything. Maybe you should wear pants. I know. <laughs> like, from one broken home to another. <laughs> Did these pants even fit? Like, hold on, let's try these pants. This is the most problematic video on this channel. They, no. They don't fit? No, my butt's too big. <laughs> these are pretty thin. They're small framed. I'm surprised they go up as far as they do. Oh, this is actually a cute look, though. It's like me, I would, first of all, I would never would wear never this outfit. Wear I would never wear this outfit. I would never wear that. But if I was, <laughs> this would be the child I was adopting. <laughs> I can't. I'm done. Um. And then one day she sees her, like, dancing. So, <laughs> in the yellow OMG box. The big stage <gasps> box. She's taken on by a manager. <laughs> and so she, now she wants to be a part of her life again. Ugh. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it really seems like a Lifetime movie. They look oh, like Lifetime uh, movie dolls. Uh, yes. Because in Lifetime, in a lot of those like budget movies, they can't, they don't afford like the licensing for a lot of like name brand toys. They use generic toys all the time. Not saying that I've watched a lot of those movies at my mom's house because my mom watches those. But they do. This would be in there. This is the Lifetime. This is the movie. Lifetime. And then the dolls are now recreating the Lifetime movie. <laughs> wow. Mm. Honestly, I, to be serious though, she is really cute. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she is. I would love to like switch their lashes. The lashes so are not a little so, too. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um. The brows are very just the, a line. They're very dated. I would love to Photoshop her. It's really the mouth, like the. Yes. They need different. Um, it's almost like she wants to talk to a manager or something, or she's just like, <laughs> like I, yeah, it's just too much. Yeah, she does look like like that. What do you think of Little Bebops if you own any? Have you found them? And, it, and their heads are hard. And they're, just so everybody knows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. So you couldn't really... Uh, reroute them, maybe? You couldn't... Or could you, you probably could reroute them, but it'd be difficult. It'd be like trying to reroute... Um, mm. It is like a pull-up type material. Like, not as good. Oh, not that yeah. Pull no, pull not... Plastic, plastic, yeah. But this is... Um, but the eyes are so real. Whatever eye chips these are from, whatever factory that they are taking these designs from, the eye chips look really like. I wonder if these fit in Rainbow High. Like, look at the eye chips. Like, the coloring is so. Like, look at. Like, it is beautiful. It looks like a marble. Yes. Like, the eyes are really good. I really like her little pointed, dainty nose. Like, the profile isn't that bad. If 
it's just the sunken in, the makeup doesn't flatter the eyeball. No, there's too much iris, I think, on the eyeball, too. Like, rainbow high, it needs, it needs to be She's lower. She's seen things. Because, yeah, yeah, there's too, like, it should stop about, like, here or something. Yeah, yeah, the eye's a little too much. It's just, like, she's very wide-eyed. Yeah, she's, like... She's, she's, you know, maybe she's... They look uh, like they've been doing some stuff. Yes, they've but, seen things, they've done things, they're on things, and that's kind of the look that they're going gonna for. She's going to fight somebody. <laughs> she's like, Cash what? Outside. what? She's on Dr. Phil! That's what it is. She's in, uh, this is an episode of Dr. Phil. I need a Dr. Phil doll right now. I don't have one. <laughs> I was like, do you have one? I, like I have a male right doll that looks like Dr. Phil. I, who manufactured that if that was ever a doll? Barbie I definitely Barbie would, would have that. always i love to know what you think of these dolls in the comments below and if you want to see more things from me there's tons of links below <laughs> i just want her to describe everything honestly they're they're interesting and as a doll collector i do like having a little bit of everything in my collection and now i do <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs> in my nightmares no i'm kidding <laughs>